I just watched part one of this video and I've read the comments at the bottom of this video sir could you help me sir can you close the door for me sir thank you sir I call my son sir so he can understand what respect is so this man is defending this reverend is defending Jeremiah Wright in this video he also defends Louis Farrakhan as a child I've heard some of Farrakhan's speeching and you know I really didn't really like Farrakhan because he wasn't the mainstream we were taught Jesse Jackson Jesse Jackson Jesse Jackson Jesse Jackson Al Sharpton Martin Luther King Farrakhan was uh, controversial but for this white minister to stand up and admit that what he's heard from Jeremiah Wright is not wrong and for me to read the comments that people are writing on the bottom of the screen it he, he has got to have some problem with him because Jeremiah Wright and Farrakhan are bigots through the history of America, how many so-called quote-unquote white bigots or white people who have had strong disbeliefs in the progression of people of color, how many of these people have been uh, ostracized and, and uh, shut down and called wrong names? Now, in 2008, I mean 8, 2008, 2008, 2008, that if a black person says something negative towards white people or the white establishment, they're anti-American, they're anti-country. Me. I guess I'm as black as you can get. And as a person of color, I have seen some things in my short time on this world that I should not have seen. I've been said, I've, I've been told some things I should not have been told, and I've been treated in manners in which I should not have been treated. But the true testimony to human courage and human strength is not to pass that shit on. White people have treated me fucked up, and I've also learned if I treat these people fucked up just because they treated me fucked up, what does that do for my child? What does that do for my kid? What does that do for my tomorrow? My kid has to live in a world where the only people that he can really relate to are white people. Because he has most... He has more than most black people. So, financially, if the nearest person to him is white, and the black people can't relate to him because he don't have the things that black people have, because he's 16 years old with his own laptop, he's 16 years old, he has his own bedroom, he don't have to share with nobody, he's 16 years old, and he's a kid in his own. He has a job. Some of his white friends don't have as much as he. Is it wrong for him to have more than some people? And is it good for him to have less than others? I am ashamed of myself. Because I haven't contributed what I should have contributed to my own child's life. Is it because I can't? Because I won't. Because I'm a lazy ass nigger. Society has made me the man that I am. And I can only do the best that I can. And to be the man that I am. To do the best that I can. I have to just be a man. Anything else. Is taking me beyond my range. And my realm of what I can and cannot do. To 
stretch beyond my limits physically, mentally, and emotionally is to hang myself in a sorrow in which I cannot spare. So, I can't be the man I used to be. I can't be the man I was born to be. What kind of life will I show my child? What kind of future will he have? Is it white or black? This white priest is defending a black man because of some words he said. The white reporter is trying to badger this white man because he's agreeing with a black man. Get the movie The Warriors. And the only part of the movie that you should ever pay any attention to is the part where Osiris is trying to unite the people. Like this man said, Martin Luther King said some things about the country a long time ago. Malcolm X said some things about the country a long time ago. Does it take 40 years for people to get the picture? Or does one black man have to say Hillary has never been called a nigger for this fucking subject to come up? Has John McCain ever been called a nigger? To be called a nigger, what is that? Call somebody a nigger and what does the what do you get? What do you gain from it? You nigger! can't wait to pick up that five dollar check for saying nigger. What do you gain for belittling someone that's different than you? Well, I burn those niggers out that damn house. I can't wait to get my check for thirty five dollars. Terror. What is a terrorist? Is a terrorist Jeremiah right? Because he said some things about the country. Is a terrorist you or me or this reverend right here defending Jeremiah right? Who are you? Why do you make me ask you so many questions? Hmm. Society is not ready for equality. Because if it was ready for equality, 